Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's R2. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Waze app tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, for us to start using Waze here, what we need to do is we first need to install the actual app. In this case, go ahead and open up Waze here. Look for Waze. So let's just type in Waze here. And from here, you want to go ahead and click on install. So if you do see, like for example, if you already installed Waze here, make sure that you have the updated version as well. But in this case, let's go open up Waze. Now in here, it's going to say allow Waze to send you notification. So in this case, go ahead and click on allow here. And from here, if this is the first time that you're opening up Waze, it's going to actually ask you to basically create your account. So if you haven't created your account, I would suggest you to first create your account. And if you've already exited that UI, you can still create your account via the following options. So at the top left here, click on the tree bar icon. And from here, click on view profile. Now from here, click on register this account. And from here, click on the register this account. In this case, you have the option to do with email or use your Google account. So in this example, I'm going to use my Google account, but you could use your email. In this case, let's go and enter our details. So that includes our birth date. Now it's going to ask you to enter or use or select your email here. And from here, it's going to start the registration. Let's go and click on continue to proceed. And in this case, it's going to uh, register our account and we are now registered. In this case, for us to start using Waze here, we first need to discuss the main UI that we see on our screen here. Now, the top left here, like what we accessed before, is going to be our settings. So if you want to access the your settings within Waze, this is where you'll be able to see them. Now, at the top right, you have that musical note or that uh, pink icon there. Well, in this case, that is the music option. In this case, you could actually use or choose an audio app here. So in this case, you could use Spotify, YouTube Music, or you could even use the settings here, which in this case, you have the option to install other apps like Amazon Music, Audible. So you need to install the actual app here for you to start using it. But in this case, once you've actually selected one of them, it's going to open up YouTube Music here. And in this case, it's going to uh, basically uh, use uh, YouTube Music as, along with Waze here. But yeah, in this case, you need to open up YouTube Music here. But in this case, you need to also have a upgrade plan here to listen to YouTube Music with Waze, which is uh, how you could actually use it. But for now, let's go ahead and click on Cancel. Now, at the bottom right here, you have the uh, warning sign here, which in this case, once you click on it, you have the option to see different warnings. Like for example, if there are police present, if there are any, any traffic, accident, or hazard. So if you want to only see that specific warning, like for example, I want to say traffic here. So I could actually see the traffic here. So based on my selection, but yeah, so this case, we also have the option to change a few things. So in this case, let's go and exit this one. And yeah, you could basically see what, uh, select what you want to see, police, hazard, or whatever here. So there's going to be a lot here. But yeah, next thing you want to do here is you want to also enter car info. So in this case, when you click, once you click on the car info, the bottom, bottom center here, you have the option to choose what is your vehicle. So in this case, by, by default, it's going to be a private car here, but you could also choose a motorcycle, a taxi, or even a private here. So this is the only options I have right now. So you also have the option to choose what is your fuel. So it may be LPG, unleaded, or in this case, diesel. Now I also have the option to see it all in HOV passes. If you want to uh, add passes, if you want to also have the option to avoid toll roads. So if you want to customize or for example, if you're driving and you want to avoid a specific toll, but in this case, you need to uh, enable this option here. Now, also, you have the more routing option, which in this case, you have the option to uh, do a few things like avoid ferries, avoid motorways, unpaved roads if you don't want to allow them and avoid difficult junctions if you want to. Now, we also have the vehicle type here if you want to change it again in this UI here. Now, at the bottom left here is going to be your speedometer. So we all know that driving and looking at your speed is something really important, especially for roads that has any speed limit on them. That, well, in this case, most roads, uh, in this case, all roads have their speed limit. But then again, looking at your speedometer, uh, we actually have that within the app itself, just in case, like for example, you uh, want to uh, keep track on your map here. So in this case, it's a helpful tool when you're driving. Now, at the very bottom center here, you now have the option to uh, search for a location that you want to go to. Like, for example, let's go and click on it. And maybe I want to say I want to go to Adelaide. 
So it's just an example. Let's go ahead and click on Adelaide Street here. And from here, you now have the option to basically view routes. Now, in this case, you also have the option to save this or share this to different people. So, for example, you want to basically set this as uh, another, like, for example, you want to set this at home, set as work if you want to. Uh, you could go ahead and do that. So, in this case, uh, you could go ahead and do whatever here. So, let's go ahead and click on done here. So, this is going to be. Let's go ahead and select again here. Let's go and select it again. And as you can see, it's now safe. Now you could also share this to your friends via email, message, Facebook feed, or whatever, or even Messenger if you want to. You also have the option to set a starting point if you want to, or even show it in math. Now I also have to see more uh, parking spaces within that location. So in this case, you could get, uh, basically see any parking space within that location. So this is very helpful, especially if you uh, if you want to park somewhere near. But yeah. In this case, for you to start driving here, you can go ahead and click on the view routes. And it's going to give you or calculate the routes that might be best for you. So in this case, uh, you could go ahead and use this route here. Or you could basically scroll up on the very bottom section here and choose a route. So they also have a toll here. So you now, you now have an estimate on what you need to pay just in case you need to go uh, use the toll. And you also have this route here. But once you've chosen the route that you want to use, you go, you could go and click on go now. Now for later drive, like you want to plan your drive later on, you could choose the leave later option here. But for now, let's go and click on go now. It's going to start calculating a route and we are now ready to go. Now in this case, you could go and st just start driving here if you want to. And just a few things. If you click on the uh, arrow that is pointing up at the very bottom here, at the bottom right here, you have the option to change a few things. Like for example, if you want to add some stops, if you want to uh, view the gas stations near in your in in your path or in your route, you could stop over just in case you need gas. And you also have the option to uh, basically see parking. You could also see routes. You could also share your uh, drive if you want to. So if you want, like for example, you want to uh, inform your friend or your uh, family members regarding your uh, current travels, go and share that. You could also see the overview, what is your tr uh, total route is going to be, how long, and uh, the traffic is. So as you can see at the very top, you have your traffic. So there's going to be one minute traffic here. But yeah, in this case, uh, if you want to, like for example, just in case, like if you change your mind, you could go and click on route here and uh, basically choose another route. Just in case, like for example, you've lost your way, you could just basically recalculate it again in here. You could even change your settings here and uh, again, your driving settings or preference here, like avoiding ferries and uh, whatnot. But yeah, so in this case, uh, if you want to stop driving here, you could go and click on stop at the bottom left. So if you click on the volume at the top right here, you have the option to basically change a few things. Like for example, if you want to turn off, turn off your sound, alerts only or sounds on, or even change the waste voice here. So you could also have more sound options if you want to. But yeah, so for now, let's go and stop this drive here. And as you can see, we just stop our drive. Now in this case, since we already added, or in this case, know how to use the actual app, but we could also add some, or in this case, uh, just a few things on our account. So if you click on the tree bar icon at top left here, you have the option to access your settings, your inbox, or even see your plan, a, uh, in this case, the plan a drive option. So let's go to settings first. Now under settings, you have the option to change your general, your map display if you want to further customize it. But this is just more on the cosmetics if you uh, if you want to change a few things. So if you want to customize it to your liking, make it a lot easier for you, this is how you do it. Now you also add your vehicle details here, your total HOV passes, alerts and reports. But then again, this is just additional settings that you could actually access within the app. Now, if you want to plan a drive later on, you could go to the plan a drive se uh, section here. You could go and click on connect calendar here and click on allow. And from here, it's going to say calendar connected. So in this case, we can now tell when we are living. So get the best time and leave. So in this case, you go ahead and click on settings here. So know exactly when to leave, avoid traffic, more settings, your location run in the background. So in this case, you might want to enable that setting. But for now, let's go ahead and click on no tanks. Now from here, let's go and click on OK, and we now need to click on the plus button at the bottom right. Now from here, let's go ahead and plan a drive here. So in this case, maybe we are from our location. Let's go ahead in here. Let's go and change it to our your location, or you could basically add your own location. So let's just add ours. So maybe I want to say places. 
uh, and this one and from here you could go and choose that one and as you can see we just set our from location and maybe we want to set this for tomorrow and it's going to ask us what time so for example maybe we want to leave by 9 a.m so you need uh, you want to arrive like for example you want to go to uh, leave by 801 so in this case you want to go uh go ahead and do that so in this case you want to plan a drive to the following street here it's going to be from and the day here you could go ahead and click on save here so in this case want to use location so in this case let's go ahead and click on no tanks here you could go ahead and enable these settings uh, again you could go ahead and enable the settings if you want to to enable that so let's go ahead and enter location so we click on save settings and want to say all 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 the time let's go back here as you can see we now have our uh location or our save or plan drive section here so it's going to remind me by 801 if i'm not mistaken so you could also go immediately so in this case you go and click on go here to start immediately on your specific um for example you want to go immediately instead of waiting for the uh, reminder but yeah so those are the basics on how to use the ways app here and from here on you should be good and that's about it so if you found this video full hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video